Hi, I'm Maya. I'm the product director for Enterprise at GitHub. And I'm going to be giving you a quick whirlwind tour of GitHub for Enterprises, including some core developer workflows, as well as showing you some of the newest features that we ship for enterprise administrators. But first of all, what is GitHub Enterprise? Well, it is a secure umbrella around your organizations, one that allows you to manage large teams uh, in a number of organizations, as well as apply policies and security controls across those. And it's available either to host yourself in GitHub Enterprise Server or on github.com in the SaaS service in GitHub Enterprise Cloud. And GitHub really is the home for enterprises. Those range from new innovative startups, as well as many of the world's largest organizations. And it's having a huge impact on their businesses as well. Let's take 3M. They adopted GitHub a number of years ago. And in doing so, they came to us wanting to speed up their business. They were able to increase the number of deployments they were doing from 400 every 60 days to 6,000. That's over a 15% increase. But you know, results like that don't come overnight. And we've been working hard for many years to build the platform that enables that. We're excited to say now that GitHub Enterprise is actually 10 years old. And the first version of GitHub Enterprise was actually called GitHub firewall install. It was all about running GitHub behind your firewall. We've been making big changes in that time. Recently, we shipped actions and advanced security to enterprise server. We've also been investing in the small things that make a difference to our customers. Things like the addition of authenticating with hardware security keys for Git events, uh, which shipped to our server customers just a few weeks ago. But you know, with building all of these features also comes a need for reliability and stability. And GitHub Enterprise is built on the same platform that supports github.com, which today holds over 60 million repositories and last year took 1.9 billion contributions. And that exact same code is what's supporting our enterprise customers no matter how you use GitHub. We've been making huge changes specifically for enterprises too. One example is uh, the investments we've been making in monorepo performance over the last few months that enable companies running huge monorepos to add new users and new commits to those without any problems. GitHub ourselves has benefited massively from them. We run a monorepo with over 15 million files. So those investments we're making are benefiting you, some of our largest customers, as well as ourselves. In GitHub Enterprise Server, we've also been investing in a specific uh, release candidate program this year, which launched in the beginning of 2021. That enables companies to try our releases early, to get uh, the earliest possible access to new features and give us feedback on whether the release meets your expectations so that we can iterate on it and improve it. This year, we have worked with over 150 businesses in that release candidate program. And I'm excited to continue partnering with all of our customers out there to continue making GitHub Enterprise better. So GitHub Enterprise today really very much is a complete DevOps platform, one that optimizes for the developer experience and one that increasingly moves that developer experience into the cloud. And one that also provides enterprises with the security and governance tools that they need. You heard about that in the keynote, but now I'm going to go through a few examples of how that actually manifests in the product for our enterprise customers. So let's have a look. First of all, we are going to have a look at kind of typical enterprise developers workflow and how we can build some security and compliance checks into that workflow in a way that doesn't get in their way at all. Over here, let's say we have just come out of our standup and this is our team standup board running on the new GitHub projects. And here we have an issue that's been raised. First of all, it is to clean up some internal security keys which have been checked in. This has been found by GitHub code scanning using a custom pattern that we have defined for our company. And you'll see here that I've actually already got a branch automatically created for me. This is running on an action that I configured to create a branch whenever an issue is raised. The purpose of that is to enable traceability. So we know it's so important for 
companies operating in highly regulated industries to be able to trace code from idea right through to deployment. And with GitHub as a single platform, you can do that. So let's go into this branch. Um, we've actually already made some changes. We're gonna raise that pull request, create the pull request, and then some of our automated checks running on actions are going to start. You can see our CI, our build checks, our code scanning checks, and our unit tests are running. Now in a real enterprise environment here, I would go off and find some reviewers for my pull request. And of course we'd have a branch protection rule set up. I can't merge this without having at least one reviewer. Today, of course, I'm actually gonna skip that step uh, just for the brevity of a demo. So that our checks have run. I'm going to merge that pull request and automatically, again, this is gonna kick off our deployment. So we've said it is now gonna be safe to deploy to our various environments, all of which are configured in GitHub with our secrets managed directly in GitHub. So let's have a look at that. Let's pop over to our actions. We've got our production deployment, which has already kicked off. Let's have a look at that workflow. And you can see it has already gone through our staging deployment run, so we could go have a look there. And it's got to production. In order to go to production, I do need somebody again to review that. So we have all of our live site checks built in here. I'm hacking this a little bit. I've given myself the ability to approve that uh, deployment. I'll approve it. And there we go. We're deploying to production. So there with GitHub, you have a developer experience that is collaborative, that is automated, and that also has compliance and security built into that developer workflow. Now I wanna go into the fundamentals of GitHub Enterprise. There are really three pillars that make up the enterprise administration and security offering. The first is access control. The second is observability. And the third is governance. Talking first of all about access control, what we really mean here first and foremost is that private means private. So when you host your code with GitHub, you can be assured that no one else is going to see them. And we achieve that in a variety of means. First, through role-based access controls. Second, through identity management, authentication management. And the third, we won't talk about too much today, but is networking control. So you can configure what IP addresses can access your uh, corporate repositories. So let's go ahead and have a look at some of this. So first of all, we are uh, going to hop into another enterprise that I have set up. Over here, I have another organization. This is an enterprise organization with a number of repositories. And in it, I have a set of teams. These are all of the teams across my business who need access to those repos. All of those repos have the access managed by roles. So let's just go in and look at the Skyline repo again and how we have set up our roles. So here you will see the five roles that we know and love across GitHub. We've had these for many years. And down here, you'll now see a new section, custom roles, whereby we can define custom roles specific to our teams and our business and assign those to different teams or engineers for each repository. A couple of examples that we have here, one is a security ops role, where we've taken one of our existing roles and added the ability to read, write, and delete code scanning results so that they can manage our security posture in this repository and across the organization. Let's have a look at that. We hop over to manage access. Here we have our security operations team and they've already been given that security ops role. That's much better than giving them full administration access whereby they could take control of the whole repository and everything that governs it. Now, just going back to our organization teams, We've recently added the ability for our enterprise cloud customers to fully own their users with enterprise managed users. And they're all authenticated just by a single sign-on from your identity provider. They're provisioned automatically and deprovisioned automatically. And we can also assign those users to teams automatically. Let's have a look at that. So let's go back to our organization and our teams. 
Here we have a number of teams set up. Let's take our product team. That's our excellent product team, which of course I am part of. Now this product team, the membership is actually governed via our identity provider. Here, I set it up with our support engineering group. So all of the members of that group are automatically synced into this team. We can change that. Let's actually select our product team this time. See the changes and immediately the membership of that team is going to update. Now let's go on to observability. With GitHub, you get a comprehensive set of audit logs that covers every project, repository, and member across your organization. This means that you can both proactively and reactively detect threats and audit everything that's gone on and provide that to your auditors. We've also made some improvements to ensure that those audit logs are available in the security tools you use with audit log streaming. And let's have a look at this briefly. So over here, we have our enterprise audit log. You can see we've got a whole set of events that have happened across this enterprise, including some of the changes that I recently made. And we can also stream this. So we can stream this to Splunk or Azure Event Hubs. We're gonna be adding more providers over time. If I hop into Splunk, you can see some of my Git push events that have gone on around the organization recently. And we could also see any access events or team membership change events pull requests, issues, anything will go right into the tools that you are using. Finally, a short note on governance. So we know that it's important for enterprises to be able to centralize their policies. Policies like whether you can create a repository, policies like branch protection rules. And with GitHub, you can apply policies like those at the enterprise level. But you can also apply them at the organization level, giving you flexibility to empower organization owners to add additional policies on top of your enterprise policies where you wish and if you wish. So that is my wrap up of GitHub Enterprise, a complete DevOps platform built for the developer experience with the security and governance tools that enterprises need built in. If you want to find out more, I do suggest that you go to github.com slash enterprise, which is our uh, marketing page on the GitHub website. And my colleague and our host today, Jared McCree, is also doing a talk on what's new in enterprise, uh, where he will do a deep dive in some of the capabilities that I've just shown you and how you can get started with them. Thank you very much. <laughs>